Hello friends, I welcome you in lecture number 4B on basic statistics. In this lecture, we will discuss one question on rank correlation coefficient which was asked in GTU winter 2020 exam. So first we try to understand what is given the coefficient of rank correlation of marks obtained by 10 students in English and economics was found to be 0.6. It was later discovered that the difference in ranks in the two subjects obtained by one of the students was rankly taken as 7 instead of 1. Find the correct coefficient of rank correlation. So here we are given marks of 10 students. So we consider n equal to 10 and marks of 10 students in two subjects English and economics are considered and their rank correlation was found to be 0.6. Okay, so they have computed rank correlation coefficient between marks of 10 students in English and economic subject and they obtain rank correlation coefficient as 0.6. After computation, they later find that one difference of ranks, we consider D as difference between ranks. So for one student, this difference between ranks was wrongly taken as 7. They have considered D equal to 7, but this was not correct value. Correct value of D was 1 for one student. So they have computed rank correlation coefficient using this d equal to 7 but later it was find, found that actual or correct value of d for that one student was 1. So this coefficient of correlation which is obtained by taking d equal to 7 is incorrect and we have to find out the correct coefficient of rank correlation using this information. So because d equal to 7 is wrong therefore d square will also be wrong and uh, consequently this uh, sigma d square was also taken as wrong. So first we will find out wrong value of sigma d square using this wrong value of coefficient of correlation. And then we will correct this sigma d square using d equal to 1. So first using the formula of rank correlation, uh, we find out sigma d square which, which was wrongly taken. So here it is given that rank correlation coefficient using d equal to 7 is 0.6. And uh, we know that the formula for rank correlation coefficient is 1 minus 6 times sigma d square divided by n times n square minus 1 and this is equal to 0.6. So n is 10 so first we consider n equal to 10 here so if n is 10 n square minus 1 will be 10 square minus 1 that is 100 minus 1 that is equal to 99. So we consider 99 here and this is equal to 0.6. So we are interested in sigma d square. So first we consider this 0.6 on left hand side and this we can consider on right hand side. 6 times sigma d square divided by 10 into 99 that is 990. So therefore 1 minus 0.6 is 0.4 equal to 6 times sigma d square divided by 990 and we are interested in the summation sigma d square so this is equal to 0.4 times 990 divided by 6 and uh, this turns out to be sigma d square equal to 66 but this is not correct value of sigma d square because this value is obtained by 
this value of rank correlation coefficient and this rank correlation coefficient is obtained by considering d equal to 7 which is not correct so we have to first correct this uh, value of sigma d square so for that uh, we can write that corrected sigma d square equal to so we can subtract wrong d square from this and we can add correct d square in this d equal to 7 was wrongly entered therefore d square equal to 7 square is also wrong so we will subtract d square equal to 7 square from sigma d square and we will add correct d square that is 1 square in sigma d square so corrected sigma d square will be equal to this uh, wrong sigma d square this is wrong why this is wrong because d equal to 7 was wrongly entered so we subtract 7 square from this sigma d square because d equal to 7 was wrongly entered therefore 7 square is also wrong and we have to add 1 square d equal to 1 was correct value therefore d square equal to 1 square is correct value so we add correct value to this sigma d square and we subtract wrong value from this summation so this is equal to 66 minus 49 plus 1 that is 67 minus 49 and this turns out to be 80 so corrected value of sigma d square is 80. So in the computation of rank correlation coefficient, this value would have been used if d equal to 1 was used. So now using this value we can find out corrected coefficient of correlation. So correct coefficient of rank correlation or coefficient of rank correlation coefficient of correct coefficient of rank correlation this is equal to 1 minus 6 times corrected sigma d square divided by n times n square minus 1 and this we denote by r suffixes so 1 minus 6 times here corrected value of sigma d square is 18 let me write properly 6 times 18 here n is 10 so 10 times 100 minus 1 that is 99 and uh, if we calculate all these things this summation turns out to be 0.109 and this is equal to 0.891 so this is the correct coefficient of correlation correct coefficient of rank correlation is equal to 0.891 so you may have this type of questions in your examination and this is very easy we are given n equal to 10 and we are given coefficient of rank correlation 0.6 but it is also given that this coefficient is obtained by considering this wrong value of d so we have to correct this coefficient of rank correlation so for that first we obtain sigma d square using the formula of rank correlation coefficient now once we obtain this sigma d square we know that this uh, sigma d square is also incorrect because it is obtained by taking d equal to 7 which was incorrect so we correct this sigma d square by subtracting 7 square and adding 1 square d equal to 1 was the correct value and once we obtain corrected sigma d square we can obtain correct coefficient of correlation using the formula of rank correlation coefficient okay, so in this way we can 
find out answer to this type of questions easily so this is all about this session i hope you like it thank you very much